Here we go. Two Republican U.S. senators are in Beijing tonight, and they may well be undercutting U.S. and China trade negotiations. A U.S. delegation, well, they are a self-styled delegation, and it's comprised of two senators, Steve Daines and David Perdue, meeting with China's Vice Premier Liu He today in Beijing. A Senate aide telling us the trip facilitated conversations. I love the way these people talk about security concerns and as well as ongoing trade talks. You can imagine how helpful two senators would be in that. The meetings, however, were arranged quite apart from the White House and may in fact threaten any progress with China already made by President Trump and his top trade negotiating team. The two senators would hardly make, in at least my opinion, ideal emissaries under any circumstance because both have a significant history of outsourcing American jobs while working in the private sector. Senator Daines spent six years working in China for Procter & Gamble. While the company says Daines wasn't making corporate decisions, he was there to help the company expand production in China. His work in China just happened to coincide with a period in which Procter & Gamble shut down plants that resulted in a loss of 4,000 U.S. jobs. For his work, Daines has received more than $70,000 in contributions from Procter & Gamble. He's also taken in more than $61,000 from the uh, ubiquitous Coke Industries. Senator Perdue, for his part, has uh, clearly, openly acknowledged his uh, outsourcing of American jobs overseas in a 2005 deposition about his handling of, collapsed, uh, of a collapsed textile company in North Carolina. Perdue was asked about his, quote, experience with, with outsourcing, end quote. His blunt response was... Quote, yeah, I spent most of my career doing that, end quote. Purdue has taken more than $56,000 from, yes, Coke Industries, nearly 34000 from known outsourcers, uh, Deloitte. Well, the heads of American labor unions reportedly concerned, concerned that union workers will stick with President Trump in 2020. In 2016, 